Greetings everyone, Brett here with Hammerhead Model Making, back with another 5 minute review. Today we're going to be looking at the Big Plains Kit 737-800. This is a kit that when I first heard about it, I knew I had to get it. And it's not terribly uh, cheap, but for the most part it looks like it's going to be worth it. You just don't see very many civilian you know, commercial aircraft in 172nd scale. So here you can see the fuselage comes in four parts. You have two front halves, two back halves. The detail on it, there, there is a lot of detail, but some of the panel lines, like you can see around this door here, are so super fine that I'm afraid like one or two coats of paint would fill them in and they would disappear. Some of the other panel lines, like some of the detail on the back here, is, is very nice and appropriately uh, an appropriate size. The wings have have very nice panel lines that are just about the right size for the scale, I would say. Um, they look very nice. You do get a full length upper half of the wings, and then the under the underside comes in two parts. You have the outer portion and then the inner portion. Uh, I do like that the seam line is the is on the flaps and not the trailing edge. Here are the stabilizers. Again, the detail on these ones look very nice. Here's the tail and rudder. Same thing with the wings. Uh, engine nacelles, at least the outer portions of it, very well detailed. You got all the little fasteners and plates that open up. Uh, the front of the intake is one piece, which is very nice. You don't have to deal with sanding, uh, you know, really awkward joints there. This sprue has nose cone, the APU tail cone. But uh, something I would like to point out is just how detailed the wheels are. They even have like raised Goodyear writing on them. Very impressive for... Uh, plastic injection. Here's one half of the underside of the wing box, plus flap actuators and the uh, the matching pair there. Winglets, detail for the wheel wells, all very nice, very crisply molded. Uh, you can see some fine rivet detail in there. Here's the flight deck and a lot of the other smaller components. Uh, instrument panel has no detail. Uh, it, it is a instrument or a decal. Uh, here's probably my biggest concern about the kit. This, these are the obviously the passenger windows, and it comes on these large blocks of clear plastic that that sit into an like a recess in the fuselage. And I'm just afraid it's going to require so much sanding and filling to get that blended into the rest of the fuselage without having any kind of seams or gaps. The uh, the main cockpit windows uh, extremely clear. You can see here my their detail in my ring, zero distortion. I mean crystal clear. You do get a small set of photo etch here, as well as some of the resin. So these are ResKit resin. Uh, if you've ever worked with ResKit, I highly recommend them. They're very nice. So these parts all look extremely high quality, uh, especially the fan blades there, which is obviously a very prominent part on the 737. So I think they made the right choice there. Uh, decals, instrument or instructions all come in this sleeve protector. The decals look really nice, very nice register, very, very minimal carrier film. Uh, there is no manufacturer on there, so I'm not her sh who shirt. I'm not sure who makes them, but they do look very nice. And uh, uh, however, I when I build this for myself, I won't be using these. I got some aftermarket decals for another library. You do get a full set of uh, window masking for all of the passenger windows as well as the cockpit windows. So that is very nice because there is a lot of windows on this thing. Um, instructions are interesting because pretty much most of the instruction booklet is taken up with the uh, decal guide. But I do like the slightly smaller size format of this instruction booklet. It's, it's, it's big enough that you can see everything, but not so big that it's unwieldy on your workbench. I really like it. But the layout is how you would expect it to be working its way through. You do get simplified instructions. Like there's a lot going on on each page, but... I think for the most part, it should be pretty easy to follow. Uh, you do get options for both raised and lowered landing gear. So that's pretty nice. But here's some close-up images of some of that detail I was telling you about. That's just, it's really, really fine and shallow. So maybe you need some rescribing. Not sure yet. We'll, we'll see when we get around to building it. But I mean, overall, the kit looks really nice. And if you've ever worked with like a sword kit or a special hobby kit, this would definitely not be out of the realm of of your skills and abilities the uh the mixed media shouldn't be too much of an issue so i but i do foresee a fair amount of sanding and filling especially on the fuselage the wings and the engines that said i think it will build up to a very nice replica of a 737 in 172nd scale so i hope this has been informative and uh, we'll see you on the next video shout out to the patrons as well they are the best